It's second and four. Hart keeps it, throws it out of the flat to Battle. Battle got some running room. Inside the 10, inside the five. And they're going to mark him down at about the one. So to this point in our time in the film room, you focused on all the good plays that we've seen so far. But now let's take a look at going into the bye week, so, some things that uh, you might want to work on. Yeah, you know, the fans think that uh, we're playing some great defense right now, and we are. There's a lot of good things going on. Uh, there are some things that have exposed us and that we've got to get cleaned up. You know, I want to give you a couple plays, give the fans a couple plays. I'm not trying to pick on any particular players here, but uh, a short field here. Uh, and they're going to run, really what they're getting to is the triple option. Just a different formation and a different way to get it. So what they're doing here is they're taking their slot receiver now to be their pitch player. You know, and given the dive, dive key to our defensive end, who's closing for dive. Uh, our inside linebacker to the field, our Mike will be the inside quarterback player. Uh, and our, our strong safety who plays to the field will be our outside quarterback player. And really with this particular coverage that we have on the perimeter, Terrence Bullitt is our force player. And anytime you're a force player, you're the pitch player. So really he goes as number two goes. He sticks his nose inside as the quarterback pulls it and starts to uh, run the perimeter, Terrence starts to come in for dive. He doesn't have dive. His responsibility on this particular coverage would be forced, so he should be, if two goes wide, he should go wide with number two. As it plays out, Terrence is now outflanked, and this just turns into a throw and catch. Uh, but what I liked most about this play is uh, this was a big play, a big explosive play for them, Terrence Bullitt. Uh, you can see his straining to catch up and uh, really exhausting his uh, full, full speed potential. From the backside, Trey Porter running from the backside uh, post. Ola Falimi gets off the block and knocks him out. I think he went out of bounds here at the one yard line. And uh, we were able to live to uh, see another down and, and that ended with uh, Pete Robertson's interception right there on the goal line. Picked off at the one yard line by Robertson. It's a learning moment for these guys. We're, we're, we're trying to get things cleaned up. The one thing that we've always done here so far, the first four ball games is uh, overlap mistakes uh, by playing hard. Straight up the middle again, low! Inside the 20, inside the 10, still on his feet. Touchdown, Texas State. The second half we start, still just a 13 to nothing ball game, still within striking distance if you're Texas State, and the first drive out of the gates for the Bobcats, a good one for them. Yeah, it was, unfortunately, and uh, uh, this is just going to be a, uh, a, what we call a divide zone. Uh, some people call it slice. You've got a uh, person in uh, position here in a, in a uh, tight end off alignment, and he's just going to go back across the formation on the snap with the line zoning to our left. And all they're gonna do is just hand, this is just a typical zone play. You've got the nose guard uh, working. He's an A-gap player. Uh, Brandon Jackson should be a C-gap run defender all the way. He should get his hands on the tackle and close to get underneath the, uh, the slice or the divide zone. And you, know, and you can see Terrence Bullitt is outside our defensive end. He's in position to be able to play the running back if it bounces outside, but we don't get underneath it. We give up a gap, so we're not gap sound here, uh, but we still have our safety Tanner Jacobson uh, in the alley here that can cap this off if he just runs through, keeps his feet and runs through the outside number and puts his face mask on the, on the ball here like we teach. He just leaves his feet too early. Okay, misses the tackle, and you can see Ola coming in from the right-hand side right here. He overplays it. Bruce Jones uh, running hard and straining, but again, uh, exhausting a lot of energy to get there, just a bad pursuit angle. He overplays it over the top. Just a series of things that uh, we can get cleaned up in the bye week. That's what we're working uh, with fundamentals this week and uh, trying to get better in some of these uh, pursuit angles and uh, obviously the uh, run fits. Frustrating at the time, I'm sure, as a coach, but good to have some things to work on here in the bye week. Coach, yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate you. Thank you.